Hello viewers, greetings to you and welcome to my channel. Alright, today I want to show you the effects of shading on a solar panel. Now this is my solar panel. I'm going to show you how this panel is affected uh, by shading. Now before um, we, <clears throat> before I show you, we are going to check the open circuit voltage of the panel now and also the short circuit current of the panel. Now, the open circuit voltage of this panel is 37.8 volts. Now, the, though the intensity of sun is not that high, then let's check the short circuit current. All right. The short circuit current of the panel is 1.5 amps. 1.5 amps. Now, uh, I'm going to cover uh, the panel, some, some of the cells, and see how we're going to see how the short circuit current is affected. So I'm using this carton and I'll cover here. Then cover part of the cells. Let's see. You can see it's reducing. It is now 0 0.9 amps. If I shift it a little, it has increased back to 1.48 amps. Now if I push it further, you can see it's not generating anything at all. Uh, what we have there is 0 0.03 amps. Now let's check the open circuit voltage of the panel all right though the open circuit voltage is still high as you can see there is 30.2 volts it's still high but you know that power is voltage multiplied by current so although the voltage is high which is 30.2 volts but the current is very low let's see the current again the short circuit current again The short circuit current is 0 0.03 amps. So if you multiply uh, 0 0.03 amps by 30, uh, what you'll be having, the wattage there is, is nothing. It's, it's not something that will be able to efficiently charge your uh, battery. So uh, when you are installing your solar panels, you should make sure that the panels are not exposed to any form of shading whether from trees, projected buildings, or chimneys, or even dust cover. The panels should always be free like this because they should always be facing the sun. The sun should be hitting on them. When they receive the energy from the sun, they will be able to convert it to, sun, to uh, uh, electrical energy. So you know that these cells, these are the cells. They are connected in series. So once any of the cell is shaded, you know the power output of the panel will reduce so let's assume you have three of these panels connected either in series or in parallel and this one is affected uh, what will happen is that the um, the power output of the panels will you know be reduced unless you have uh, what we call micro inviters that are installed on the individual panels so if one of them is affected uh, uh, other panels will still be sending uh, uh, yeah, generated power as it is to the batteries. But for the shaded one, it will not be able to generate anything because the, the cells are shaded. So as an installer, always check before you install your panels, whether you are installing them on the roof or you're doing a ground a mounting, that is mounting them on the ground. You should check around. Uh, you do a site survey to make sure that you don't have things there that will cast shadow on the panels because if that happens uh they won't give you the desired energy output thank you for watching you click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to my channel to you know follow and also enjoy other videos that i'll be posting thank you for watching